Hello and welcome back. Today we continue our study on the Wisdom Keys of Solomon. It's a mature subject today, sexual relations between a man and a woman. But it's not just any sexual relationships that Solomon's talking about. More specifically, he's talking about immoral sexual relations, relations outside of marriage. You might ask, what's that got to do with living a long, healthy, and rewarding life? Well, according to Solomon, it's got a lot to do with that. I'm reading today a portion of Proverbs chapter 5 in the Message Translation, and I'm making comments of my own as we go along. It's a little bit long today, but this is an important message, so let's get started. Proverbs chapter 5, beginning at verse 3. The lips of a seductive woman are oh so sweet. Her soft words are oh so smooth. But it won't be long before she's gravel in your mouth, a pain in your gut, a wound in your heart, She's dancing down the primrose path to death. She's headed straight for hell and taking you with her. She hasn't a clue about real life, about who she is or where she's going. So my friend, listen closely. Don't treat my words casually. Keep your distance from such a woman. Absolutely stay out of her neighborhood. You don't want to squander your wonderful life to waste your precious life among the hard-hearted. Why should you allow strangers to take advantage of you? Why be exploited by those who care nothing for you? You don't want to end your life full of regrets, nothing but sin and bones. You know, in another translation, these verses say, strangers will be filled with your strength. Your hard-earned goods will go to the house of an alien. You'll groan at your final end when your flesh and your body are consumed and you say, how have I hated instruction in my heart spurned reproof? I have not listened to the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to my instructors. You know, in Bible times, they didn't have medical words to describe diseases like AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases. But nevertheless, Solomon was describing the results of hooking up, of sleeping around. The New American translation of the Bible reads, when your flesh and your body are consumed, you know, consume has a lot of meanings. It means to destroy, to use up, to squander, to waste away. A person can be consumed mentally, spiritually, physically, but Solomon is speaking here about being consumed physically. In other words, your body will be destroyed literally and physically waste away. The result will be death. It's, it's not an easy subject for us to talk about today, but it's an important one. And there are serious negative consequences physically emotionally, spiritually, to, to promiscuous sex outside of marriage. Solomon says in verse 12, Why didn't I do what they told me? Why did I reject a disciplined life? Verse 13, he says, Why didn't I listen to my mentors or take my teachers seriously? My life is ruined. I haven't one blessed thing to show for my life. Do you know the saying, Drink from your own rain barrel, draw water from your own spring-fed well? You know, what is Solomon talking about? He's talking about being satisfied, content, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, and sexually with your own wife, not with some other woman. Verse 16, it's true. Otherwise, you may one day come home and find your barrel empty and your well polluted. Your spring water is for you and you only, not to be passed around among strangers. Bless your fresh flowing fountain. Enjoy the wife you married as a young man. Lovely as an angel, beautiful as a rose. Don't ever quit taking delight in her body. Never take her love for granted. Why would you trade enduring intimacies for cheap thrills with a whore, for romance with a promiscuous stranger? Mark well that God doesn't miss a move you make. He's aware of every step you take. The shadow of your sin will overtake you you'll find yourself stumbling all over yourself in the dark. Death is the reward of an undisciplined life. Your foolish decisions trap you in a dead end. You know, friend, the message here is simple. Men and women, don't sleep around. Be satisfied. Be content with the husband and the wife you have. In fact, cherish them and never take their love for granted. This is a lot to think about for today. I hope you'll take it to heart. I look forward to you joining me again tomorrow. Thank you.